Hey, it's Pastor Craig. It's Wednesday, uh, May 20th, and I just want to give you a, a, an encouraging word today as we pull up to this Memorial Day weekend. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, 2, and 3 is one of my favorite passages in all the Bible. And it says this in verse 1, Hebrews chapter 12. It says, therefore, since we were surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses. I love that. In fact, there's this book that uh, somebody has written called Balcony People, and it reminds me that there are people in my life, just like it says in Hebrews chapter 12, there are people that are cheering me on, these witnesses, cloud of witnesses that are cheering me on and cheering you on. I, I think of, for me, I think of family members, I think of my mom, and I think of my mother-in-law and father-in-law that pray for me and Robin and the family, and, and by name every day, I think about people in our church uh, that, that come up to me on a regular basis and say, hey, pastor, I pray for you and your family by name every day. I, it's so important, that, that concept that we're, we have people that are cheering us on, and we have people that we're cheering them on. Well, as we come up to this Memorial Day, I, I want to give you three quick things to remember that I think are really important. First thing I want you to remember are those people that gave their life for our freedom. My grandfather gave his life in World War II on a plane. His plane was shot down and he gave his life for the freedom that I enjoy. I think of my mother who was three or four years old that when her dad died, it left this huge hole in her heart. And I just want us to just make sure that it's a Memorial Day weekend that we remember those people who, who paid the ultimate sacrifice for the freedom that you and I have. And not only those people who gave uh, their lives for our freedom, but also the families that had that huge hole in their hearts because somebody that was close to them passed away. So my, 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 my first point is just simply, hey, this Memorial Day weekend, would you just stop and talk with your family, maybe around the dinner table, either on Sunday or on Monday, and just talk about the meaning of Memorial Day and how grateful that we are for those people that, that paid the ultimate sacrifice for us. And then number two, the second thing I want you to remember, I want you to remember to be a balcony person for other people in your life. Hebrews chapter 12 is, is that uh, verse 1, 2, and 3 is the verse I'm, I was, I've been talking about. But chapter 11, right before it, talks about these great heroes of the faith. Uh, people like Abraham and Sarah and people like Jacob and Joseph and Moses. And one paraphrase, as it gets to chapter 12, in verse 1 and 2, it says, Pioneers, these pioneers who blazed the way. Do you know that God has called us to be trailblazers, to, be, to take steps of faith, not to sit on our hands and just, just kind of wait around until he comes back for us. And that's not the life he, he has for us at all. He wants us to be taking risks, taking steps of faith in order to glorify him. Uh, there are people that are watching you. There are people that are, that are they're watching to see how you're going to react. In fact, when people come to me and meet with me, about some struggles that they're going through in their life. After I get done talking to them, almost at the end, I say, you know, there are people that are watching you, people that are, that are seeing how you're going to react to the struggles that you're facing in your life. And I want us to be, I want us to be trailblazers, especially when we're going through a tough time in our life. Remember there are people that we have an impact on that we, by our faith, are gonna show them how to have faith. And then the last thing I want you to remember this Memorial Day weekend, and it has nothing to do with scripture, has everything to do with a pastor that loves you and cares for you. And that is this Memorial Day, I want you to remember to have some fun. This last month and a half has been pretty tough. It's been pretty stressful. And we need to remember that there's times that we have to stop and just have fun. Play a board game, uh, laugh, do whatever you can just to have some fun this weekend. And, uh, and, and celebrate what God's done in your life. All right. I want to read uh, from the, paraphrase, uh, the, the message paraphrase. I want to read to you Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, 2, and 3. It's fabulous. The writer says, Do you see what this means? All these pioneers who blazed the way, all these veterans cheering us on, it means we better get with it. Strip down, start running, and never quit. No extra spiritual fat, no parasitic sins. Keep your eyes on Jesus, who both began and finished this race we're in. Study how Jesus did it, because he never lost sight of where he was headed. That exhilarating finish in and with God, he could put up with anything along the way, cross, shame, whatever. And now he's there in the place of honor, right alongside God, when you find yourself flagging in your faith, 
Go over that story again, item by item. That long litany of, of hostility, he plowed through. <laughs> and then it closes and it says, that will shoot adrenaline into your souls. I love that. God bless you. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to this weekend. It's going to be great. God bless you.